talk about where your own families come from? And how, speaking of uh, empire and colonialism, uh, of course, that is that has changed the shape uh, in the face of England. I think I, I believe ten percent of the people in England originate from countries that were part of the British Empire. So my where my family comes from is a direct legacy of empire. It's my family come from Bangladesh, which in my grandfather's age. It used to be called India, and then India on British Empire India, and then under uh, my father's uh, age uh, that became East Pakistan because India and Pakistan uh, split when India uh, left when the British Empire left India in 1947. That split to India and Pakistan, and because it was split down the middle, there was an East Pakistan and a West Pakistan, Bangladesh which was called East Pakistan, then gained independence from West Pakistan in 1971. So this, uh, what we see in Kashmir now, is also a legacy of British Empire, and uh, that's where my family come from. My father and my mother and my grandparents came to the UK from Bangladesh. Yeah, um, uh, my parents are originally from Iraq, um, which again is another country that has been invaded by the Brits numerous times um, during the 20th century. Um, they were occupied in the 20s, and then again they were like invaded once again in the in 1941. Uh, in, in fact, Winston Churchill actually wrote a, a, a memo, in a secret memo. He he wrote that he was in favour of using chemical weapons. To poison, I can't remember the exact quote, but he said he said he was in favor of strongly in favor of using chemical weapons to poison anyone who rebels in Iraq. Um, and this was at a time, you know, like when we were complaining uh, about chemical weapons used elsewhere in in world wars. Winston Churchill was promoting the use of them in Iraq. So that's kind of like the legacy that 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 you know that that we see from 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 uh, from the British perspective um, as to where our ethnic origins are from. Um, so it does have an uh, an effect, and and you know we've seen the legacy across the world, like you know from the the detention camps that they built in Kenya for anyone who rebelled against the Brits and um, and and the Mau Mau tribes and things like that. So it's like a it's a very complicated relationship between being British and uh, and the empire, um, and that's not even to mention like the Windrush scandal that happened afterwards, where you know the the government and even the, the royal family asked for people to come from the empire to help rebuild UK after World War Two because there weren't enough. Um, working uh, aged men. So they brought people from all over the world, especially in the Caribbean, and then now suddenly they lost their documents and are forcing them back uh, to return um, uh, return to the Caribbean, even though there are people who have lived in the UK for 50 years, 40 years, um, and they've just deported them back to the UK, and that's that's what's known as the Windrush scandal. So it's there, there is when this crazy... That? This is a scandal that have started under Theresa May, and it's actually still ongoing, wow. even with with Preeti Patel, who's current home secretary or was uh, home secretary. Um, so it's an ongoing scandal started in 2017. Um, but this legacy of colonialism and uh, it, it's quite interesting, especially especially after I wrote my article and I, and I noticed this now it, uh, with an American audience is how quickly they've forgotten the legacy of colonialism and. Especially for me, after this article published in a, in 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 a West in an American outlet, I've received a lot of hate mail, like insane hate mail from American audience, um, and Twitter and things like that. And I'm just like, do you do you guys realize what you celebrate on July Fourth? Like, I, I'm not sure people are aware what they celebrate on July Fourth for them to come and attack somebody who's just. I've not even said get rid of a monarchy. I've just questioned it. So I find it quite ironic that people are attacking me for writing an article to question King Charles when actually the whole <laughs> celebration of July 4th was let's get rid of the money there was a there was a funny tweet that that I don't know if you've watched the musical Hamilton mm -mm. um but they put out a tweet saying um you know on today like we're gonna shut down the musical today because we're mourning the death the sad loss of Queen Elizabeth and somebody just retweeted was saying do you know what your play is even about <laughs> Uh, because it's a play about the American Revolution and uh, and, and overthrowing a, uh, a monarchy. Want to just show you guys this video before you leave, since we mentioned Iraq. Here's the Queen in 91. As a nation, we are rightly proud of our armed forces. That pride has been fully justified by their conduct in the Gulf War so far. 
as they, with our allies, face a fresh and yet sterner challenge. I hope that we can unite in praying that their success will be as swift as it is certain, and that it may be achieved with a smaller cost in human life and suffering as possible. Then may the true reward of their courage be granted, a just and lasting peace. Yeah, that didn't work out so well, considering that was uh, round one of the Iraq war. The same war never ended. But yeah, what, what's interesting is that what, when she said, you know, we're proud of, of the armed forces and what, and what they do, it almost makes it so that you can't question them. And then 10 years later, when they reinvaded, Theresa May put in a new law about five years ago, where they, she actually banned people from suing the British army uh, for crimes uh, in Iraq. So it's quite ironic that, you know, it's painting a picture where these are almost um, uh, uh, free of any sin, the British army, whereas we know that they did commit various crimes as well as the American army when they when they did invade and occupy Iraq. Uh, 